You ever watch those Law and Order shows? I mean, there's like 30 different ones, but they're always on TV. You could probably find one on some time, at any time during the day, on some channel. I really like them, right? So you have two detectives that are trying to figure out crimes, trying to bust the bad guys. Well, it got me to thinking, an idea. What if I could create my own Law and Order show? Yeah, but we'll make it around, instead of making it around criminals, let's make it around rocks. In fact, we'll call it Law and Order. SGU. Well, that's Law and Order Special Geologic Unit. Well, in this video, we're going to go over what that Law and Order show would all be about. What, what kind of laws would they understand? What kind of laws would they be putting things in order? So, in the video, really, we're going to look at four things. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at the law of superposition, right? And we're going to understand it. Then we're going to look at the law of cross-cutting relationships. Thirdly, we're going to look at the law of original horizontality. And then finally, we're going to look how all of those laws relate back to our geologic time scale and relative dating. All right, well, you have to remember, let's kind of go back a little bit to our video on geologic time scale. In that video, we talked about how geologists and paleontologists found different layers of rock with fossils in them. And these fossils, they were able to group into different groups, and we had eras and eons and periods and epochs, and we had that whole big chart. Well, they had all this chart, and they had groups, but they weren't able to figure out which of these groups was the oldest, which of the groups was the youngest. Right? Somehow, they had to use relative dating. But in order to use relative dating, you have to find out the relationship. You have to figure out how one thing report, re, it relates to another. So we came up with the laws of geology. So let's look at these laws of geology. Our first one is called the law of superposition. So this is our first relationship where we're going to be able to use relative dating on rocks. Now the law of superposition says that older layers are always below younger layers. Another way of putting this is saying that old that layers first form on the bottom and the layers on top are younger than the layers on the bottom. Now, it actually is kind of easy. In fact, I'm going to show you. All right, now you're going to see a little video of me stacking books. Now, very quickly, you can see the book that I stacked first. There it is, right there. It stacked on the ground first. And then after that, the layers were stacked on top of each other. If I were to do an and then story, first I would say the green book was placed, and then the yellow book, and then the red book, and then the silver, and then finally at the top, the black book. So the very first book was purple, I'm sorry, green. The top book was black, the, la the youngest book. Now, that's exactly what we can do with layers of rock. We can look at a cliffside, and we can see, well, layers first form this way. They form up, so the layers at the bottom are going to be the oldest, just like we did with the books. Well, let's give it a shot. So you're going to see a picture. This there it is right there. It is a picture of a place called Blue Basin, and in particular, a spot called Turtle Cove. Um, I took this picture in the John Day fossil beds, and I really like it because what they are is a bunch of layers of volcanic ash and fossilized soil called paleosols. And they're stacked up and you can walk and hike in and it's really beautiful and they find a lot of turtle fossils there. Well, looking at those layers, where would you expect to find the oldest fossils? Well, we just talked about the law of superposition and we said that it's at the bottom. So, the layers at the bottom are gonna have the oldest fossils. That's the law of superposition. I'm sorry, the law of superposition. So we've tried it. We have seen that older layers are below younger layers. Okay, that's easy. Well, let's take a look at the second law of geology. That second law of geology is the law of cross-cutting relationships. The law of cross-cutting relationships says this. If a layer cuts across another layer, so here's a layer, it cuts across it, I'll go that way, right? The layer that cuts across is younger than the layer that is being cut across. That's really hard to say, but basically it's saying if you have a layer and another one cuts across it, 
This is the oldest. I can give you an example. Maybe you've done this. If you've ever drilled a hole in a board, right? You set the board on the ground and you drill into it. If we're going to do an and then story, you would say first the board is on the ground and then we drill the hole. You ever try it the other way? You have a drill, you set it up, it's spinning around, and you try to stick a board on it. It doesn't work so well. The board flies off and you get hurt and don't do it because then you're in trouble and I'm in trouble and I lose my job for telling you to drill a hole in the board wrong. But, right, the idea is in the and then story, that goes down first. You set it down and then the hole is drilled. Well, the same thing happens in rock. First, the layers of rock are built by like the law of superposition. And then, if a layer cuts across it, like maybe a volcano or magma coming up, it's younger than the layers that are there. Right? So look at this. I have an example. Here's an example of a picture from Arizona. Um, this is a right around um, the Grand Canyon, a lot of sandstone, which is a sedimentary rock. And it's red. You can see it's all layered up there. Well, in uh, Arizona, there was also some volcanoes, and they actually sent magma through those layers, and there you can see them right there. They call that a basaltic dike, if you wanted to be very fancy and geological. But all it is is just magma that burned a hole through the layers. So, which one's older? Exactly, it's the layers that are scudding across. It's the sandstone, because they were there first to be cut across. The law of cross-cutting relationships. And even if you wanted to, you could even find out which sandstone layer is the oldest by using the law of superposition, right? So we can go at the bottom, it's cutting across, and you could figure out this happened first, second, third, blah, 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 blah. All right, so we've got two laws of geology. And the final law of geology is a law of original horizontality. This one's a little bit harder. They have a bigger words for it. And it isn't, there's some exceptions that we can maybe talk about and you could probably figure out. But what the law of original horizontality says is that layers of rock are first laid flat, horizontal with the ground. They are then either tipped or bent or curved. So when you see a layer of rock that might be bent, you have to think, well, first it was flat and then it was tipped. So if we're going to do an then story, you would say first the sedimentary rock formed and then it was tipped. This mostly occurs to sedimentary rock. Right? I like to think of this as making ice cubes. Right? You pour water into an ice cube tray, I mean, if you don't have one of the fancy fridges that just pops ice cubes out at you, and the, I, the water pours in and then it lays flat and your ice cube is flat. Right? So even if you kind of tipped it this way, if you tip that tray a little bit, the ice cube is going to be perfectly horizontal with the ground, no matter what. Right? It's the law of original horizontality. So oh, here's another great example. And Arizona is great for geology because you can see all the rock layers. They don't have to have worry about all these trees and plants and green stuff and that growing all over the rocks. They get to see the rocks. So let's look at this example from Arizona. These are sandstones again. So the sandstone is a rock that forms when you have sand in water and a lot of time. And they lay out flat on the bottom of an ocean or a lake or whatever. Well. Plate tectonics and some other processes have bent those layers, right? So now they're no longer flat, they're curved. In fact, they would call that an anticline or a syncline if it was the other way. Now, that means if we we're going to do an and then story, we would say that first the sandstone formed and then it was bent. Right? So we've had three laws, right? We talked about we said the law of superposition is telling us that older layers at the bottom. The law of cross-cutting is saying that layers that cut across are younger. And the law of, of original horizontality is saying the layers are either flat and then they're bent. All right. Well, now we have laws that we can figure out the relationships of the layers for geologic time scale. Now a geologist or a paleontologist can use those three relationships to figure out what happened first in our time scale. Now we can organize it. We can go, wow, look at the Cambrian fossils are older because they're at the bottom than let's say the Permian fossils. They might be at the top or the Cretaceous or the Holocene or any other period you want to talk about. All based on the relationships set up by the laws of geology. Well, 
what it does, it is just relative dating, right? So we can't give it an actual age, right? We don't, we can't use the laws of geology to figure out exactly how old the Earth is. Instead, all we can come up with is what happened first, what happened second, and on. Well, let's take a look and see what we did in this video. We really, we looked at three things. First, we looked at the law of superposition. We then looked at the law of cross-cutting relationships. And then we looked at the law of original horizontality. And then last, we saw that we can use these laws to figure out the geologic time scale. All right, so remember how these videos work, right? You can always pause it to take notes. You can rewind it and go back if you're not understanding something, or just watch it again. But always remember to keep moving forward.